Well, blessed Monday to you as we come to you through daily encouragement. Now, as we left last um, time, Dietrich Bonhoeffer stressed this word, let him who cannot be alone beware of community. And now he's going to stress the opposite. Let him who is not in community beware of being alone. Those are one of those um, paradoxes where both are true at the same time. The alone person must beware of community, and the communal person must beware of being alone. They are different um, aspects of the truth that we need to stress. And so he says, so the reverse is also true. Let him who is not in community beware of being alone. Into the community you were called. The call was not meant for you alone. In the community you are called to bear your cross. You struggle, you pray. You are not alone, not even in death. Or on the last day you will be only one member of a great congregation of Jesus Christ. If you scorn the fellowship of the brethren, you reject the call of Jesus Christ. Thus your solitude can only be hurtful to you. If I die, then I am not alone in death. If I suffer, they, the fellowship, suffer with me. And now once again, another quote from Luther. That's one thing I have often been amazed at in my call as a pastor. There is so much of it that is both individual and there's so much of it that is both communal and sometimes i find myself just being drawn to one or the other even though i'm an extrovert i have this deep side of being alone being with my books in my study and studying and i always had to remember that if i'm to live a balanced life i need to be called visiting people and being with people and then if I'm in the mode of visiting people, I'm really having a great time with seeing people, um, seeing what's going on in their life and all those other things. And I have to remember, you better make sure you don't for neglect your study, the being alone time, even when you have your family time to make sure that you cultivate alone time and thoughtfulness and things. And so there is always a tension one way or the other. And the true life is one, a balance between the two. And neither needs to be, it should be neglected. They should be balanced in so many ways. And so that is what I would say is one of the reflections that he is going to be talking about. As we talk about being alone, it does not mean that we should just get, lock ourselves in a cell or go to a hotel alone or a place that we can find some solitude and there are still many places of solitude in some ways even after the pandemic a lot of us uh, had to cultivate things alone without our community in the usual ways if anything the pandemic disrupted our normal pattern of things which isn't all bad but as we quote unquote get back to normal it doesn't necessarily mean getting back to the normal things, the things that would separate you from your brother and sister, the things that would separate you from being alone with God. It gives us a time and opportunity to truly reevaluate who we are and what we are about in this life. And so one is not to be avoided over the other, but both are to be kept in balance. And so, so as we move forward in this chapter about what it means to be alone with God rather than alone with community, it is important to remember that it is one side of the coin. Don't neglect the other. Continue to have your individual and your communal life balanced. For that is what a healthy Christian life is calling us to do. There will be a time. And it is a reminder to us when we will be alone. It probably is at the most poignant time when we are six feet under or we are away from this life. But we are never truly alone. We are emblazoned in the memories of the people that we have encountered. And more importantly, we are emblazoned in the memory of God. 
the God who baptized us, the God who feeds us his very body and blood, and the God who will call us by name, just as he called Lazarus and others long ago, raising them from the dead. Those are reminders of this time as we think out and uh, figure out what this balance looks like. Take care. God bless. We trust that these continue to be words of encouragement for you. We'll see you tomorrow.